Hello everybody and welcome back to another JA Diecast review. And for today's review, we have an interesting one um, in the kind of story of why I have this one. Um, but before we get into that, this is a review on Kevin Harvick's 2020 Dover win. Um, so the story on this is I didn't order this one. Um, this was sent to me by Lionel um, as a mistake. Um, I was supposed to be receiving the Chase Elliott 2020 uh, Daytona road course win. Uh, and I was excited. Got here pretty fast. And I opened up the box, and this is what I got. Um, so it's I'm fill, I got it on Saturday, and I'm filming this on Sunday. So I gotta wait until Monday, uh, and then I'm going to call Lionel and try and get it sorted out. Send this one back, and um, with any luck, receive my Elite Chase Elliott Daytona Road Course win. Um, hopefully, they're not sold out. And hopefully I can get one. But um, I don't know because I've never had this happen before. Uh, every time I've had one come, it's been the right one. So I haven't had to worry about sending one back and getting um, the one I was supposed to when it could be sold out or whatnot. Uh, if they have any. So hopefully I'll be able to get one, but I don't know. Uh, but before I sent this one back, I just wanted to take it out of the box and um, it was an opportunity to get a video and some more pictures from my Instagram. So uh, that's what I wanted to do before I sent it back. So here is Kevin Harvick's 2020 Dover win. Uh, this is Dover 2 because it's in August. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy the video. If you do, make sure you like and subscribe. And let's get into it here. Starting with the box. Nothing too special. Just an elite. We've got Kevin Harvick, number four, Mobile One, Dover Win, 2020 Mustang Elite, and one of 333. Out of those 333, this is number 77. Now, that would have been real interesting if I got a door number. <laughs> um, that might have changed my, my opinion on sending it back, but no, number 77. But um, now if that's done, here's the winner sticker. And then the race info card. We've got Kevin Harvick, Dry Dean, 311 winner, Dover, Delaware, August 23rd, 2020. Uh, 10 minutes, well, 12 minutes, under three hours. Um, not sure why it says he started 56th. Um, but apparently he started 56th. 311 total laps, seven cautions for 40 laps, and 223 laps. Harvick led, and he won by three and a half seconds. On the back, we've got Harvick scores a milestone victory. Stuart Haas racing driver Kevin Harvick dominated the Dry Dean 311 at Dover to earn Ford's Ford its 700th all-time NASCAR victory. Driving the number four Mobile One Ford Mustang, Harvick led 223 of the race's 311 laps. He took the lead for good with 17 laps remaining to complete the sweep of each race stage in his eighth NASCAR Cup Series victory of the 2020 season which he should have won the championship, but that's a different story. In addition to the 700th all-time NASCAR win for Ford, it was also Harvick's 56th career NASCAR Cup Series victory, which put him in a tie for ninth on the all-time wins list. So, there's the card. And as much as this isn't the one I wanted, I was really looking forward to getting that Chase Daytona road course win. Uh, this is a pretty slick-looking car. Uh, not a lot of race markings on it but uh just i mean the paint scheme it's pretty cool um the black looks nice with the, the silver flame accent so pretty good looking car but you know we uh i gotta send it back and hopefully get that road course win but uh, there's a full look at the left side let's get going so we've got 3m lincoln welders and sunoco so we've got goodyear NASCAR race car, NASCAR Cup Series, and we've got Kevin Harvick on the name rail, Ford, Mobile One, Haas, Fields, and Hunt Brothers Pizza, as well as one, two, three, four, five, six, right, six winner stickers, um, so 
It said this was his eighth victory of the season, so I don't know why there's only six. So I guess he's missing two winner stickers. Um, but then you got Bush Light, Rush, and I'm not sure what that other one is. Uh, then you got Mobile One, Haas on the C-Post. Mobile One, Jimmy John's, and Hunt Brothers down on the quarter panel, as well as American Ethanol. So we'll flip this around here. I think it would have been cool with like a silver, maybe even a black number. Um, but, you know. Then you got the same thing down the right side here. You guys look inside and we'll go to the front you got the four and Stuart Haas racing then Mustang uh, some grill tape we've got mobile one on the hood as you can see there are some scratches and rubber buildup on the silver but other than that it's pretty hard to see then you've got NASCAR Cup Series on the windshield banner with the Ford logos. I'll give you guys an overhead look of the car. We'll go to the back. Since this is an Elite, the trunk does open. So there's a look inside at the fuel cell. Now, so on the back, we've got Mobile One and then Mobile One again down there. Got the Ford license plate and number four. Then on the back of the roof, we've got Bush uh, Harvick and then Mobile One on the deck lid. So I'm going to put the camera down here and hopefully get this hood open uh, and give you guys a look inside. So there's underneath the hood. A lot more detail than the ARC version. And then under the hood, you got Ford, Mobile One, Haas, and Wix. So, but that's about it for this one. Uh, like I said, not the car I was expecting to get, nor the car I wanted, but it is pretty good looking. Um, I just got to wait till tomorrow. Uh, I know with this whole pandemic, Lino call centers haven't really been all that great like i've tried to call them multiple times um to you know cancel and uh you know get things like that sorted out um and i think i think i've only been like answered once um so it's been pretty difficult to get a hold of them but gonna have to try uh to get this sorted out because um as a chase fan and chase collector um that's the car I wanted and the car I needed, so I'm going to have to send this one back, but hopefully I'll get that sorted out. If I do, you guys will see it with the pictures on my Instagram and obviously a review because that's uh, something I do. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out the links down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.